Welcome everybody to the video and welcome to Goodwill. Oops, sorry. We are back at it again, looking for items that we can resell on eBay and hopefully make a profit. <laughs> and this whole thing is about making money, making profit, um, trying to buy low, sell high. That's the game, name of the game. And, um, you know, we, we've been pretty successful at that. So... My whole point of making these videos is to help everyone out there look for these items that I buy and sell all the time. Um, maybe you can find these exact items. Maybe it's giving you an idea of what you can sell. Maybe it's getting you motivated to sell, I hope, um, if that's something that, that you would like to do. Um, definitely, you can get a lot of uh, you know flexibility in your life. Especially, you know, if you have a family, if you have kids or loved ones that also require attention. And, you know, buying and selling helps make money. So that way, hey, the bills get paid. That's what it's all about. You know, and then having money left over for, you know, vacations, going out to eat. And, or, you know, maybe you just want extra money to, to go on a vacation. And that's what, you know, I think reselling, you know, you, you get that money really quick. Um, get that chart, especially on eBay, you know, you can quickly, you know, flip stuff and get that money in your account fairly quickly. If you pick up the right items, I did a video about, you know, like the secret to eBay reselling, you know, what's the, you know, how to get sales and, you know, there's really no secrets. You just got to buy items that people want to buy. You got to do your research. You got to make sure there's, there's, uh, got to make sure there's a, a customer base. You gotta check the competition. You don't want, you know, three or four buyers out there and, you know, a hundred or two people trying to sell the same thing. Way too much competition. You could get lucky sometimes and maybe your item gets sold before the, other, the rest, of, rest of the others, but the odds are not in your favor. <clears throat> Otherwise, uh, here we are. They got the bins out already. They usually have the bins out on Saturday mornings. Um... They're yeah, not necessarily just Saturday mornings, but I've seen them out there Mondays and Tuesdays. They, they'll just roll out stuff that either they didn't get to or there's just no room on the shelves. Because these shelves are packed, usually all the time. So I picked up a couple of those wooden figures. I'm going to put one back. Um, one of them is... Uh, what's the name? Don Kyoto, I believe. Um... But it was too broken. I'm going to pick up the one that's not broken. And as far as that big rig goes, I'm not going to end up taking it. It was it, The comps just weren't... It, it was kind of like all over the place with that. So I didn't want to... I was just going to leave it behind. Plus, I find some other great items here on this adventure. This video is getting pushed out before some other ones I have ready in the pipe. Because... The items I buy in this video, hoping they resell rather quickly, because I'm going to do a video of how much I made on all these items, what it cost me, what it cost me to ship them out, any other costs associated with the items. That way, I'll give you guys a good, excuse me, a good detailed breakdown of each item and what you could potentially make and what you should be buying items for, so that way you can make that money. <clears throat> And also, too, at the end of this video, we'll have the new format as far as my, uh, my, um, what do you call it? Recap. Now, these keyboards are amazing resellers. I have a guy that actually buys these on eBay, of course. He buys them almost instantly as soon as I post them up. Not that one. <laughs> the other ones that are there. They're Microsoft 4000 ergonomic keyboards. They sell really well. The prices are kind of spiked right now. They generally will sell for around the $30 to $40 range, although as of late, it looks like they're going for more around $50 to $60. So, and actually the time of me releasing this video, I already listed all these items so that way I can get my data so I can make my video. But um, those keyboards sold already, so they're gone. I'm checking out these other ones here. Um, definitely check the boxes. These are not the same keyboards based on the box but I'm going to open them up and check to make sure that the actual 
you know, that's the actual keyboard that's in there. And not the ones I'm looking for, which are the 4,000s. And as it turns out, there are only... <clears throat> I think I, I find three boxes with the 4,000, but there was only actually two. After, uh... After I search the boxes later. So... But I'm gonna put in my cart anyway, do my research a little bit later. So that way I can move through through the rest of the Goodwill and stack stuff in my cart. It's a good idea to put stuff in your cart, do your research later, search the boxes, you know, test out if they have power, if you're buying something that needs that. Um, so that way, you know, you have, you have it in your possession. <laughs> and it doesn't get snatched up by other people. Although there's not a lot of people here other than me that buy, that buy keyboards. There's actually, uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm familiar, I know, and I'm familiar with a lot of the resellers in the area here that come here. And, um, uh, I mean, they, they, we're all looking for profit on the shelves, but I, you know, really target this little tech area here. Advent calendars. I picked up this... No, not that. Yeah, I'm going to pick up uh, this little Sony... I end up putting it back. It's uh, it's basically a USB TV tuner for your for your uh, computer or laptop. Not, you know, it's not really a thing anymore. <laughs> and the comps were kind of there, but I really didn't like it. I really didn't like what the comps were showing me. Pretty much just allows you to plug in a coaxial cable or your cable into your computer, and. You know, in this day and age, with all the streaming services, I think it's just really, there's really not really a case for it, as far as I know. Um, or not really a, a market for it, as far as I'm aware of, but I have purchased those and sold those modems, those 56k dial-up modems before, but they're a long tail item, and I'm not really... I have a I have a lot of long tail items currently right now that are in my uh, in my store. I know they're longer tail items. I know I'll get more money for them if I just sit and wait on them. And by long tail items, I for me it's anything that goes over six months to a year. That's long tail in my opinion. I know some people keep stuff for a lot longer, two years, three years. I don't. I don't. But um, I already have some stuff, you know, and those 56k modems, they just don't really move that fast. You really, you're really targeting a, uh, um, a very specific buyer for that. And it's not what I'm currently looking for at the moment. That could change. That could change, but I'm going to leave that on the shelves. Now, you guys know I like picking up Ikea, especially Ikea lights. They do incredibly well. Um, this is a desk lamp, orange with clouds, a little gooseneck. Really cool. And we're definitely going to pick that up for sure. Yeah, I know. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm looking at... I sell surprisingly a lot of dollhouse stuff. Now what you didn't see me <laughs> up there... I thought I got on camera. I don't know why I didn't put on camera, but... There at the top shelf was an American Girl doll, um, kind of like a kitchen island, kitchen table that folded, and I did pick that up. It had some American Girl doll, American Girl doll clothes in it as well, so that made you know give it a little bit more of a. Hopefully, it makes it sell quicker, and uh, we're definitely gonna pick that up. American Girl doll is something you know you should be on the lookout for. 
The problem is, is people usually, and by people I mean, you know, the people that price here at Goodwill, at the flea market, even at garage sales, they know what an American Girl doll is, and they will price it up. That was priced at $11. You'll see that in the recap, too. But, um, uh, oh. we're going to pick it up. And in the recap, I don't think I... Did I finish talking about the recap? But the recap is is uh, my the new style that will be coming out. There will be some more videos coming out with the old style recap. But, um... And it will be like a picture-in-picture. Picture. If you guys remember picture-in-picture picture on your TV, it will be a picture-in-picture picture style. So... I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you guys do like the, the format at the end, please drop a comment down below. Or if you don't like it, or if you want me to go back to the original. Those, uh, I don't know, those Marvel ones, the, those ones just don't do very well, like those tall figures. Even, and, and, you know, unfortunately, like the Wakanda ones don't really do that, even really don't really even do that well. Inside my cart, you'll see that Air Hogs, it's kind of like a, uh, a little uh, motorized glider. Those Air Hogs do actually pretty well, um around you go for like around 20 25 bucks or so that was a flask and normally i would pick up the glass flasks because they do sell pretty good the glass ones do um but i had some like gunk in the bottom of it so i was like oh, i didn't feel like cleaning it i didn't want to put in the effort to clean it to try to sell it for maybe about 20 dollars. plus it also helps that i have a pretty big what people call in the business, reselling business, death pile. <laughs> it's all potential profit. Um, but uh, it's it's just stuff that I need to list. So I can be a little bit more pickier with the items I get because I know I have stuff that I got to list. Actually, I have enough stuff to, to last me through the end of the year. We're already, uh, you know, beginning of December here. And I got plenty of stuff to last me for the rest of the month that I should be listing. I shouldn't be out shopping, but... We're making videos and I'm making content to bring to you guys so that way you guys can see what you need to buy in order to make a profit or make money I should say not just, yeah you gotta make profit but we're making money is what we're trying to do here arena bowl we'll discuss that at the end but we'll pick that up too arena football is what I should say I definitely tossed around the idea of buying this hat, but it's just, I think it's just off season. Maybe if we were in the springtime, I would have picked it up. Hunting style hat, airy, you know, more for, has more gear towards hunting season. I don't know if, if, I don't know what, if, what hunting season is right now, but kind of a cool hat, probably a $20 hat or so, $20, $25. I'm not ultimately going to get it. I'm going to leave it behind. Definitely prefer the beanie just because we're in winter season. And that Lisa Frank, I'm going to end up putting that back. My wife actually spotted it earlier and she said no. So I was like, okay. Checking out the mugs. Or this is like the miscellaneous section. Not necessarily, you know, not necessarily mugs in this area, but. It is a uh, just a miscellaneous area here. Nothing, nothing really, really worth reselling. Uh, yeah, see, she's telling me <laughs> he's a freak. She already looked at. She already looked at that. Clear glass. I'll tell you what. It hasn't been very exciting as of late. <laughs> anywhere uh at any of the goodwills i frequent the flea market the clear glass just i don't know no one's donating any good clear glass so i'll still look i'm always on the lookout for decanters because i collect decanters 
Um, I don't necessarily look for brand name decanters. I kind of just look for cool, unique decanters uh, that I can add to my collection. <clears throat> there were several Gaylords here. Uh, books, books, and more books. I'm pretty sure if you were doing this on, on uh, you know, if you're doing books on Amazon, this would be... You could probably make a pretty good... You could make pretty good profit going through these books here. There was a lot. There were more books inside those boxes, too. So... I'm going to take a quick glance at stuff here. Yeah, we got more clear glass over to the left. But we're pretty much going to wrap up this trip with these few things. And we'll go into the new recap. Okay, everybody, welcome to the recap. So we're going to do a little something different. This is going to be the uh, going to do a new little format as far as the recap goes. I'll have a video that will pop up here, you know, going through the items. And I'll kind of tell you, you know, it'll, it'll show you what I paid for them. And it will also, and I'll tell you, you know, how much I think they should go for. And, um, you know, like I said earlier, this video is being bumped up in the rotation because we're going to do... I'm going to do another video, a follow-up video to this one, and once everything sells, then what we're going to do is um, do the breakdown of actually how much we made per item based on fees, based on um, uh, shipping costs, you know, the boxes and all that, and then uh, I don't really count gas because everything with it, with, you know, all the places I go to are within about an eight-mile radius, so it, the gas us usage is very minimal. Like, I can hit... There's, I think, four Goodwills within eight miles, and then the, and then the, uh, the flea market is even less than that. I think the flea market's like three mile, three or four miles away from me. So, um, I don't really account for that uh, in the in the cost of goods, but we will we'll definitely be accounting for the. Um, uh, and I'll tell you, uh, you know, I'll tell you exactly how long it took everything to sell for. As a matter of fact, the keyboards in this video sold almost instantly. Um, the uh there's a guy that i have that buys them pretty much all the time those those keyboards specifically buys them almost all the time from las vegas then i have another person in florida that buys all my apple keyboards the full size apple keyboard so those are already gone i'm gonna cut the video here because then i'll know exactly where to put the little video of the um me showing you the stuff okay now the video should be popping up Right over here, I think is where I'm going to place that. And right off the bat, you're going to see some keyboards, these ergonomic keyboards, Microsoft 4000 ergos. Uh, there are other ergo keyboards out there. These are the ones, though, that will go for $40 to $60. They're a little spike right now. And they do go for $50. Actually, sold for $50. Bucks. Go Travel Bible Charger. We got that for basically free. And that should go for right around $40. Um, and I say basically free because maybe we overpay for some other stuff in there, but technically we did get that for free. So two keyboards right there. Um, the next up we got this Air Hogs. Definitely Air Hogs is something that does sell pretty well. I couldn't find any good comps on this one, but we're going to price it at 25 and we're going to see how it does. Then what else do we get here? We got a few other things. I'm kind of taking my time. The pants are not for resale. This little, you know, hand card from Spain, $2.69. Maybe it wasn't a, a good buy after all because the comps didn't really look good. I'm going to try to sell it for $15. I wouldn't recommend picking that up. Ikea light. Again, you see what I paid for it. It's a cloud light. Upon further inspection, it was missing the power adapter. It had two price tags on it, but we actually paid the $8 one. It was missing the power adapter, but luckily I have a spare power adapter, so I was able to test it, get it listed. This is it for 50 bucks. We'll see what we get for that. Uh, pants are not for resale. Then I got this. Uh, this is a, a little, like, portable TV, Casio color TV. It doesn't really work, I think, because everything's gone digital now as far as the TV signal goes. So I'm going to post it for 50 bucks, best offer. We'll see what happens on that one. Arena football used to do really well. This is the local team, the San Jose Sabercats, or used to be local team, San Jose Sabercats. $4.19. It used to do a lot better. I picked it up anyway. It's a beanie. It's wintertime. 
we'll see how it does. I'm listing that for 20 bucks. This American Girl doll thing, though, um, I couldn't find the exact comps. We're going to list it for $50. It's going to be a heavier item. It's going to be more to ship. But ultimately, you know, we'll see where that goes. Um, all these items here, you know, because they are over, uh, you know, the ones that are going to be over $25 or 20 the ones that are going to be over $20. Now for $20, I don't really put best offer, but if it goes over $20, I'll generally open up best offer. I'm also sending offers out too, so even if it doesn't have a best offer, their offer is going out and someone can always send me a um uh what a counter offer if they would like. But um yeah, I think best offer really does help most of these items except for the um, you know, the figurine. I think they're all going to have best offer on them. I already accepted an offer on both those keyboards. Both those keyboards sold, by the way. Both keyboards sold 50 bucks um, for each of those keyboards, and they were kind of spiked since the last. I haven't, I haven't had those in stock in a while. Uh, I used to find them all the time, and they would sell for right around between 30 to 40 dollars. But as of late, it looks like the price on those have kind of spiked up a little bit. They're getting closer to 60 dollars. And um, the same guy that, that bought all my previous Ergo keyboards of that same style, uh, you know, shot the offer over. And, of course, you know, I accepted it. So 100 bucks already on those. But we're going to do a deeper uh, dive into these items specifically as soon as they all sell. Like I said, I, I mean, I don't think these items will last that long. Maybe that little statue figure might take a while. Um but the other stuff should sell fairly quickly within a few weeks is what we're probably looking at based on comps and um based on the fact that it's you know christmas is coming or fourth we're in the fourth quarter of christmas uh you know these items should sell pretty quickly i hope i'm hoping <laughs> uh otherwise guys that's the end of the video and we are back to healthy <laughs> i know it's been you know um i was racing towards uh you know, 1,000 subs on the channel, and I want to thank all the new subscribers, um, everybody that comments or likes the video. I appreciate all that. Um, just trying to, obviously, once you get to 1,000, you can monetize the channel and earn a little bit of money from Google or from the ads that Google places within the video, and that will allow me to, um, you know, basically just provide more content. It'll give me more incentive to, you know, provide the the content out there uh for everybody and you know i hope this helps everybody i hope you guys you know i hope you guys can find these items out there i mean these items are all out there they're everywhere you know obviously you know i i do tend to get a lot of apple products because apple is right down the street it's not too far from our house um and so yeah everybody around here has apple everything so actually i just picked this up apple ipod i mean it's an older one but iPad. I got it for a big old bundle, so maybe two or three dollars. So Apple stuff in my area is just very plentiful, and um, generally you can get a good price um, just because there's so much of it in my area. And I know that you know in other people's areas they might not be as fortunate. I said it earlier. You know, I got like four Goodwills in about an eight mile area, eight mile radius, and. Um, it just so happens they happen to be like one after another down the road. And then a great flea market, which is like, I think it's about four miles down the road. It's not very far at all. So I'm very fortunate to be where I'm at. But I see other people, I see other, uh, you know, content creators out there posting what they're out there getting. And, you know, they might not be getting, you know, tech stuff like I can, but they're getting others, you know, they're getting other, you know, Sometimes, you know, sometimes I watch um, uh, Homeschooling Picker, and dang, she gets some crazy, like, home decor items. Um, they just recently got some sort of, it looked like a like some sort of infuser thing that goes for, like, $500. I think they were over in Phoenix. I mean, I mean, there's stuff out there everywhere. You know, you just have to kind of get used to, first of all, you have to go. You have to go to these thrift stores you got to go to you to um you know flea markets and then you'll get a sense of what you know what's out there and you gotta look stuff up i have a video on my channel looking stuff up on your phone 
you know how to how to as you're sourcing looking items up to see if they're worth it to resell creating listings as you're going you know that'll help you um on ebay on ebay other other you know on posh and stuff like that you know might not if you do sell on those um if you do sell on those you know that's going to be a little bit different but this is primarily the ebay channel i primarily sell on ebay um although you know poshmark is picking up as well too so when i do become more better <laughs> when i become better at poshmark you know i'll definitely drop a video on poshmark um but uh you know right now it's it's okay it's not crazy but i only i'm only posting shoes i posted a shirt over there just recently so we'll see how that does um but just to kind of wrap everything up look for the items that i'm finding if you guys can find items like this similar to these items in your area just know like those the, those keyboards like those key those ergonomic keyboards not all ergonomic keyboards are created the same but those specific ones 50 bucks a keyboard so it's you know if you find them out there i found them for a dollar so you know 50 a dollar into 50 that would be crazy eight into 50 is, isn't bad it's still pretty good profit and i sold both of them right off the bat um but uh please like subscribe uh and i'll keep you know, i'll keep putting out content you know we're approaching 1000 i'm definitely going to start doing some more live soon uh, just live chat if you guys whatever you guys want to talk about questions i can answer them live on the channel i'll definitely i don't know my schedule is always so tight you know, i mean i get to yeah you know, i have the morning starts going i start getting my shipping out i do some sourcing sometimes depending on if the you know what's open and then by the time you know it, it's already like two or three o'clock it's already the end of the day so maybe i'll drop a live tonight what's tonight tonight's a friday night Maybe I'll go get something to eat and then uh, maybe do like a midnight. See if there's any night owls out there <laughs> on live. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.